The Buffalo Zoo has been hit with a hefty fine after a federal OSHA investigation last year into the interior demolition of its reptile house. News 4 Investigates has learned that the zoo was fined more than $45,000 and cited for numerous violations of OSHA standards. The News 4 Investigates team has been digging deeper and deeper into documents that were obtained under the Freedom of Information law. Luke Moretti is here tonight with the latest. Luke? Yeah, down in Janky, uh, OSHA was brought in after a zoo worker filed a complaint with the agency. Now, the light demolition work inside the reptile house was halted before OSHA began its investigation last year. The findings raise questions about whether proper procedures were followed. They have a duty to respond to inquiries such as yours. Erie County legislator Joe Larigo says he's disappointed with the Buffalo Zoo's lack of transparency. Something as serious as this, once the media is out there asking questions, I believe they have an obligation to answer those questions. But so far, the zoo is not answering certain questions about the findings of a federal investigation involving interior demolition of the zoo's reptile house, which was built in 1942. OSHA records obtained by News 4 investigates show that the zoo had a problem with lead contamination in the reptile house for years. For example, 22 of 25 wipe samples collected in the reptile house in April 2014 contained lead. The records also show that some zoo workers were put at risk of potential exposure to lead and crystalline silica when they began demolishing portions of the reptile house without proper gear or training last year. Larigo is now hinting that it might be time for zoo officials to appear before a legislative committee if they won't answer media questions. Certainly with an entity that receives one and a half million dollars of taxpayer money every year from the county, if we ask them to come in and talk about what happened, they better come in and talk about what happened. A former zoo official did provide some insight on past issues involving the reptile exhibit, telling News 4 there was a medical issue several years ago, referring to at least one animal impacted from lead exposure around 2005, which triggered an abatement project of the exhibits and public areas, and again around 2014. Additionally, an OSHA official with knowledge of the investigation tells News 4 that lead exposure problems involving reptiles surfaced during an interview with a zoo employee. But the zoo is disputing claims of any harm to animals. Telling News 4 in a statement, the Buffalo Zoo can confirm that no animals were sick or died as a result of lead exposure. The zoo is not only a place for families to go and, and see animals and enjoy them, it's also an educational facility. So if there are instances where animals are injured or sick or hurt and uh, there's an opportunity for education to the public, I think that's something that the zoo should be embracing. As for other questions about lead problems in the old reptile house and last year's OSHA investigation, the zoo released a two-sentence statement in response. The Buffalo Zoo has addressed lead through abatement, encapsulation, employee testing and training, and most recently, full renovation of the amphibian and reptile center. The Buffalo Zoo will continue to responsibly manage its campus for the safety of our guests, animals, and team members. But the zoo still has not answered all of the questions submitted by News 4. For example, we wanted to know did anyone require medical attention for lead or silica as a result of the demolition work beyond normal blood tests? Why didn't the zoo know that lead-safe practices were required for any kind of demolition work in a building built in the 1940s? They need to answer these questions, and like I said, I'm disappointed that they haven't. According to federal OSHA records, employees used jackhammers and other tools to remove reptile cages and rock wall exhibits during the initial demolition. One OSHA document states that an employee told investigators that work clothes were covered with so much debris that they turned white. What's more, federal investigators collected the debris and found high percentages of crystalline silica and lead. To see an organization that gets so much taxpayer dollars being secretive is concern. Look, transparency is the most important thing when you're dealing with taxpayer dollars. 
Now, OSHA officials found that the zoo did not willfully violate their standards because of turnover in key positions around the time of the demo work, and that current management personnel were not aware of lead in construction standards or the actual locations of lead paint and dust. The demo work was part of a multi-million dollar renovation of the Reptile House, which according to the zoo's website, is scheduled to be finished this year.